Hello, chess lovers. I have a very beautiful game for you, played by David Proust and Dale Hazel. The game was played in 2008 at Berkeley Masters Open. Proust started with e4 and e5 by Hazel. Knight f3, knight f6, black goes for Petrov's defense. Knight takes e5, white is choosing the classical variation, d6, and there it goes, we see a very aggressive move by Proust. Knight takes f7, white is going for Cochrane Gambit. This is a very sharp line where white is sacrificing a knight in return getting only two pawns, but also is managing to move black king and is making black king vulnerable. And now white will start to organize a very dangerous attack. But first, Prus is developing his pieces. Knight c3. A very calm move after that mighty knight sacrifice. Bishop e7, d4, c5, bishop c4 check, king f8 and d5. Well, this blocks the bishop's diagonal, but white needs time in order to develop his pieces, avoiding exchanges in order to organize the attack. a6, a4, preventing any possible advancement on the queen side. Knight d7, f4, controlling the e5 square. Knight e8, white castles king side. Bishop f6, and bishop e3. Well, instead of playing bishop e3, white had a strong move e5. If d takes e5, then d6. A powerful move, white is freeing the d5 square for the queen. If knight b6, then f takes e5, and if knight takes c4, then e takes f6, followed by knight e4, and this is going to be a very dangerous attack. But instead, after bishop f6, we see bishop e3. Queen e7, queen d3, bishop takes c3, b takes c3, and knight f6. Black was making very passive moves, didn't manage to bring the king onto a safe square or use the material advantage, and now white will punish him for that. Here comes an hyper aggressive e5 move. White is simply trying to open up the f file and attack black king. And a bad move by black, d takes e5, well, opening up the f file favors only white, it was better to play knight g4. But instead, after e5, we see d takes e5, and after d6, black is just in a hopeless position. Queen retreats back on e8 square, and now comes f takes e5. Queen takes e5. Well, if a move like knight takes e5, then white has a powerful move. You can pause the video and try to find the winning move. Ready? Actually, rook takes f6 is just crushing. If knight f7, then simply rook takes f7. Or if g takes f6, then we can see this amazing bottom mate on the board. Let's go back after f takes e5, that's why we see queen takes e5, now comes rook e1, knight b6, bishop f4. These powerful rooks are now going to do their dirty job. Queen f5, and now comes d7, this time freeing the d6 square. Black captured on d3, and now you can pause the video and try to find white's next move. Actually, there is a checkmate in two moves, and white can give the checkmate in two ways. White can either play bishop d6 check followed by rook e8 checkmate, but after queen takes d3, Proust chose a more beautiful variation. He first played rook e8 check, and after knight takes e8, he played bishop d6, giving a double check and checkmating black king. This was truly a spectacular attack by David Proust. If you liked this crazy checkmate, don't forget to give the thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. More games are coming. Good luck.